Hello YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies and Man once again, and today we're going to be doing an off-the-cuff video that I wasn't planning on doing at all because I got uh, hit, <laughs> I got sucker punched by the fact that there's a Saint Seiya movie coming out next year. And yesterday there was a few trailers dropped for it, or I think there were teasers actually. Um, there's two different ones that I saw. One of them is in English with Japanese uh, text, so I'm guessing that one was released in, in Japan. And there was one that I found... Uh, on some Saint Seiya Latin American YouTube channel uh, that was slightly different. It looked different. It also uh, was highlighting different things. And so I, I thought it was awesome. But yesterday I had a lot of crazy good movie news. We got a trailer for Indiana Jones 5, which I don't really care too much about, but it's cool. Um, and hopefully that means we get to see Indiana Jones uh, go on Disney Plus at some point. Uh, although I think it's it's owned by someone else, I think, so it's um, it's being distributed elsewhere. But I do want to see more Indiana Jones films. I've only ever seen the fourth one, I think. I did play the Indiana Jones Lego uh, games, so I do know the story more or less. Uh, wait, was it Lego games? Yeah, I think it was Lego games. I, I don't know. Um, so that was cool. Then we also got the Transformers uh, Rise of the Beast uh, movie trailer, which was awesome. Again, holy crap, bro. It looks so, so good. I uh, really am a fan of, of Transformers, always have been. I remember watching Beast Wars as a kid. Um, I think I watched it on YouTube back when you could find, you know, every episode of everything you wanted on YouTube and you had to like look it up by, part by part. And it was like 10, 10, uh, 10 different parts for a 30 minute episode. So I remember watching it. Um, and I thought that the, the way that they chose to uh, make the robots look was awesome. I really liked the G1 style uh what's it called uh optimus prime i do think that they maybe fucked up a little bit with bumblebee because they made it look a little bit more like the michael bay movies instead of the more classic design i don't really mind either way i like it you know i like both of them so it's fine but i do think that they tried to mix them um i think mirage was in it too rc of course she looks awesome and of course the maximals look awesome as well but that's not really the point of this video. So let's talk about Saint Seiya. I saw those two trailers that I mentioned. And, um, well, it's interesting. I even talked to Jerry about it, Jerry from uh, Waifu and Me. Uh, and he wasn't really impressed with it. I was kind of impressed by it. And also, I was just really hyped about it. Um, but I, I know that it's going to fucking suck. Like, it's going to fail horribly. Uh, I don't see Americans caring about Saint Seiya. I don't see how they can market this movie to look awesome. Because, like, yes, there's a lot of things in Saint Seiya that do appeal to general audiences. I mean, Saint Seiya is basically a Power Rangers team. Or, like, the, the way it works is basically a Power Rangers theme or a team. Uh, they're also very generic superheroes as well. So, it, it can work. The problem is that I think, like every other adaptation, it does lean on the source material a bit. And I'm not sure that the source material is well-loved in the U.S. I, I think it's actually pretty disliked by the vast majority of people. Um, but it's definitely going to do well in Japan. It's definitely going to do well in Latin America. Everyone that's above 40 years old is going to go watch it for sure. Uh, well, uh, between 30 and 40. So millennials, uh, millennial-aged people from Latin America are definitely going to go watch it. Probably some from France and Spain as well. So it'll probably make its money back. So I do think it's not going to flop. But it's probably going to be a pretty shitty movie. However, I enjoy shitty movies a lot. Uh, I like all the Transformers. I like the, the recent adaptation of Power Rangers, the one that had Becky G as the uh, Yellow Ranger. I thought that was great. Um, I really enjoyed that one. I mean, it wasn't good, but I liked it. Um, and uh, there's a few other shitty movies that I like that most people think are bad. Um, but... There's some problems with the way it's set up, and even Jerry pointed some of this out. The script for the movie seems to be, like, it reminds me of, like, the Percy Jackson movies, the way that, you know, uh, it starts out with uh, the gods meeting up at the top of, uh, of the Empire State Building, and then someone tells Percy Jackson, hey, you know, gods exist. It kind of feels like that at the beginning. At least the parts where Say is talking to Sean, uh, Sean Bean, I think is his name, um, you know, Ned Stark from from Game of Thrones, that guy. And, and I'm not sure who he's supposed to be playing. The guy that plays Seiya looks the part. He's great. He even has the 
very first outfit that Saint Seiya has ever in, which is a brown shirt with this crappy like brown armor. Um, that is straight out of the uh, the first chapter of the of the of the uh, manga. He looks great. Um, there's a female character, Saori, of course, shows up, and she looks purple haired, purple eyes. She has like a white or pale pink dress, so that works. Um, I think we see uh, Aldebaran, Tauros, at the beginning of the of the uh, sh of the uh, of the first trailer. Actually, in both trailers, I don't know who he's fighting, but he looks like. Um, uh, Taurus, uh, maybe it's supposed to be Mu, I'm not sure, but uh, it looks like him um, because he has the horns, uh, so it could be someone else, but I'm pretty sure Taurus is the only one that has horns like that. Uh, and anyway, wait, wait back to, to, to Ned Stark. I don't know who he's supposed to be, maybe he's Kido, Kaido, whatever his name is, uh, you know, the old man that uh, made the organization that made the Galaxian Wars. It's possible it's him. I don't think so though, because I'm pretty sure he never actually talks to Seiya in the manga when he's an adult or when he's a teenager. Because Saint Seiya characters are all 14 to 15. I think Saori is slightly older and Marin is slightly older as well. Um, and then the Bronze Knights are like adults, but barely, uh, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'm not sure who he's supposed to be. He might be Keto. It, it could work. Um, like, it makes kind of sense. The, there's a few things that I don't like. One, there's guns. <laughs> this is a pure martial arts series. I don't remember there ever being guns, but I guess, technically speaking, if you're bringing it up to modern audiences and you're going to sell it like a superhero thing, having guns kind of makes sense, uh, especially if, you know, uh, saints are basically superhuman anyways, and, you know, burning Cosmo and unleashing the seventh synth and, and, and all that stuff allows them to be superhuman. Uh, they should be able to stop bullets and stuff like that, so it's not going to be that bad. They just need goons to fight, and um, that's going to work that way. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, we did see some knights that were completely black. Uh, they had nothing going for them. Their armors were over-designed, and I can't really tell which one was which. Um, that's one major complaint I have, um, that everything looked over-designed, at least for the, 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 the armors. But if they're the Black Knights, they could work. It means that we are adapting at least part of the Galaxian Wars, or at least the the, the second part of the Galaxian Wars, which could work. Um, and I think Maureen shows up. There's this woman with a bra with a like a silver face, and she does the, the eagle thing. And her her outfit's kind of ugly. Um, it looks like you know robes made out of leather, which doesn't really work for me. But I guess that. You know the very simplistic like spandex with plus armor look of um, of the classic Saint Seiya might not be what they're really going for, but I think there's ways to work around that that could have been better. And I don't think that the like Lady Sif kind of look that that Maureen has going on works. I also don't know who Maureen is supposed to be because there's there's one actress that has red hair. It's the same one that playing che played Jean Grey in the old X Men films in the the ones from the early two thousands. I'm guessing she's supposed to be Maureen. I'm not sure. That'd be kind of weird because she'd be like 50 and Seiya is, uh, and Maureen is like 18 or 19 in the in the manga. And I guess Seiya looks like an adult in this in this uh, movie, so it can work. But it's going to be very different. I'm not sure that that's going to be the case. I also don't know who's supposed to be uh, Saori. So I'm curious to see how it's going to work. But first impressions, I'm pretty excited. I'm still going to go watch it even if I know it sucks going in. And I'm very, you know, interested in seeing it. I'm sure I'll still have a good time because there's other shitty movies that I've seen that I really enjoy from old 80s, uh, you know, things, right? So, yeah, I think it'll be fun. My, like, preferred way to go about these this movie franchise, if it ever becomes a movie franchise, would have been to have the first movie be the Galaxian Tournament by itself. Um... Ending with, uh, you know, whatever the last fight was. I think it was Shun versus Yoga, I think is the last fight. I don't remember. Um, whatever the last fight is before Iki shows up, have Iki show up in a like, post credit sequence, and then have the second movie be uh, Shiki, uh, or sorry, not Shiki, Iki. Uh, I keep saying uh, Shiki all the time, but it's, it's Iki, Iki of Phoenix. Uh, have Iki show up in the post credit scene and then have him be the 
main villain for the vast majority of the second movie and then have the Silver Saints show up throughout the movie and, you know, get all their fights with uh, with with uh, Shiryu and Hyoga and, and, and Seiya. And then have the third movie be part one of Sanctuary, or part one of the Gold Knights of the 12 Houses, and then have another fourth movie that finishes up Sanctuary, and then have that be it. I don't think it has to go beyond Sanctuary. Um, you know, the other sagas are good, but um, I feel Sanctuary is top-notch. It's probably... Uh, the best part of, of Saint Sam and it's also um, small enough that it can be made into movies relatively simply. Uh, the Saint Seiya you know origin story can take up 15 minutes of the first movie then you get introductions to all of the other bronze knights you know like uh, uh, Ka Nabu, Kabu, Pagu, whatever his name is, the unicorn guy and the wolf guy and the, the bear guy and all of them another 10 20 minutes and then you just have the tournament for the rest of the movie um and then you introduce the black knights somewhere in the back and then they you know transition into the second movie where you have the first half of the movie be uh the saints versus the black knights and then versus icky and then uh have icky join forces with them to take on the silver saints at some point and then they move on to the gold knights later on and um I think it would work really well. You could do it in like eight years, have all four movies come out, uh, one every two years, something like that, and have everyone working on the movies con con continuously. But um, I'm not sure, that would be my preferred way of doing it. I'm not sure that that's the way they're gonna go. It does feel a little bit like Wonder Woman um, in the kind of like action scenes, like people shooting guns, slow motion, jumping, and uh, acrobatic CGI type stuff. And then we also get to see a little bit of that like over, development of the armors that is similar to to um well to transformers and to um the power rangers movie where becky g was in it <laughs> that that had becky g in it um we also see um some gi joe looking kind of stuff uh this one was definitely jerry pointing it out to me he mentioned that some of the uh scenes felt like they were filtered uh in grays or browns to kind of um you know make it look a little bit more dull. I, I thought it was because of the CGI. They were probably trying to cover up that it's not perfect, which is totally understandable and totally fair. But he did point it out. And then he made a comment about how it looks like it would be part of like a G.I. Joe or Fast and Furious kind of movie. Definitely true. Uh, and I, I, I see that a little bit of that inspiration there as well. But Saint Seiya, if they make the movie like middling, like vaguely good enough, it could work really well. It could be a fun like B tier uh, movie franchise that has a lot of the same kind of like superhero beats to it, but it doesn't really go all the way. It doesn't have the comedy elements of, you know, Marvel or, 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 or you know, um, DC and stuff like that. Because um, Saint Seiya, whether you like it or not, it is campy for sure, but it is also a very serious story. I mean, people die in like the Galaxian Wars. Like I'm pretty sure half of the Bronze Knights are completely dead by the end of the Galaxian tournament. Um, Seiya punches Shiryu in the face, or sorry, in the chest so hard that he stops his heartbeat. And he has to punch him so hard uh, again just to get him to restart his heartbeat. Um, Shiryu loses his eyes at one point in a fight. Um, Iki, I think, gets a severe frostbite in one of his arms thanks to a Hyoga. Um, I'm pretty sure Seiya just murders the guy that is trying to beat him for the, for the Pegasus armor at the beginning of the story. China, of course, almost tries to kill Seiya. Um, you know, there's a lot of death and despair in, in, in the Saint Seiya um, universe. And um, it's not really like hardcore. It's mostly just like death scenes. Uh, and it's not overtly gory or anything. I mean, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of it is, but um, it could work. And it would be pretty good and it would be like a little bit more serious um but also a little bit campy because it has to be campy for it to work right i mean henshin hero type things never work if they're not just a little bit campy um so i think it'd be really really fun if they managed to land it at least somewhat um but you know it's hollywood they're probably gonna suck at it so it is what it is but that's my thoughts on on this um I really like how the Cosmo also looks. Uh, Saori has this beautiful purple aura. Uh, Aldebaran had like a green and he fought someone who had like a purplish red. Saint Seiya's like light blue shine all over his body is awesome. I think there's even a scene where like 
he manifests so much, so much Cosmo that he has like a Pegasus behind him, which is awesome. That's also straight out of the uh, of the manga. There's a time where he's fighting and he does something, and then there's like this giant pl- splash page where it's like Seiya and his Pegasus versus Shiryu and his dragon. I think it is uh, what it was, but I don't know. It's cool. I really liked it. I think uh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna probably suck, but it'll still be enjoyable. So. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know that way. Uh, let me don't let me know down below. Sorry, what you guys thought. Let me know uh, what you think about Saint Seiya and what you think about this movie. If you've seen the trailers, I'll leave the the, the, the links to those two uh, videos that I saw uh, down in the description. So feel free to watch them. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching.